Let's nice get it. We're going to do things a little differently this time. As you can see, the book I'm reading. History of the United States. Let's see if we can turn it so you can actually read it. History of the United States, Volume 1. This is the one I had up last time. All right. Hey, what I'm gonna... All right. We're going to pick this up. Um, we're on page, I'm on section 3 or chapter 3. We're going into the South again. I think that's where I left off is in, in the South. And I saw something that was kind of kind of interesting. We got over and we started reading a little bit about uh, Maryland. And Maryland kind of shocked me a little bit. Well, it said Maryland was with a population of 3,000 souls. Okay, 3,000 in Maryland. One third, one third now, 320,000 souls, right? One third of them were slaves. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Now, when we think about how much it takes for a sailboat to go from the continent, Let's just say in the, in the northern part of the continent, just up in Morocco. We're not even gonna talk about a thousand miles and then going down uh, 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 further south. Let's just talk about Morocco, which they did not get enslaved from Morocco for some reason. Kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, but Maryland had 3, 320,000 souls and one third of them were slaves. Something's not right. Something ain't right here. Let me come on down this page a little bit. If you want to pause and read a little bit yourself, uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff in this book. I'm just going to the key points because of what I'm here to do is try to find out where the hell we came from. The truth about where we came from. Okay, here we go. Continue to march. Now we were over here in the south, like I was saying before, and we were reading about Maryland. 320,000 souls. One third of them slaves, okay? Maryland alone. Now let's come over here to Baltimore. Let's take a look up here at Baltimore. Let's read just a little bit. It says, uh, from Baltimore, a road that long reminded the, the despair of travelers traversed Maryland, and, Maryland to Georgetown, just below, below the Great Falls of the Potomac. Here at the head of navigation, the city of Washington was being, was being planned. Let's get a little closer here. Crossing the river on one of the old dominions of Virginia with a population of 748,000, of which 40% were slaves. Let's think in a little bit. 40% were slaves. Man, I think the hijack started way back in the old books. As you can see, this shit is crazy. How the hell are you gonna have almost 50% of the people there slaves? and they're just dormant and docile and then you kick their ass the whole time. Unless they were already there and you tricked their ass. They didn't just come from somewhere else. They were here. They were already here. Let's see, Virginia is today, but a fragment of the Imperial Dominion that was granted to the Virginia Company in 1606. Notice that 1606. What happened in 1606? Let's see what happened in 1606. The 10th of April, 1606 was full of fate in the destinies of the Western continent. On that day, King, on that day, King James issued two great patents directed to the men of his kingdom, authorizing them to possess and colonize all portions of North America lying between the 34th and the 45th parallels of latitude. And there is more. Again, I'm not getting into it. I'm freezing long enough for you to handle it yourself. Let's get back over here. Now, since we were talking about 1606, what the? To the same book we started up right here. Both of these are histories of the United States. And see how they're connected? But one is sharing a little bit more information than the other. Again, uh, Virginia is today, but a fragment of the imperial dominion that was granted to the Virginia Company in 1606. You want to read a little bit more? We'll take it on down. I'm not going to read all that for you. I've already read it. Good information. My purpose is here to see 
how many of us was here? 74,000 in Kentucky, 17% were slaves. See right there? Get more information here. That's crazy. Well, it's one thing we can be sure of is where our folks lived, they were pretty damn bad in, in comparison. It says, uh, apart from the mansion houses, the appearance of Virginia plantations with well, ill cultivated fields, straggling fences, and dilapidated Negroes' cabins would slovenly in, were slovenly in the extreme. They were terrible. Man, they were terrible. But anyway, this is continuing to march. We got some good stuff over here on the next page. But yeah, I, I, I picked up something else. We're still on page 29, still on the Virginia. And I, I, I found this here. I'm still finding it's really strange on how many of us were here, man. Check this out. It says, socially, Virginia down to 1865 may be compared with rural England before the industrial era, omitting the villages and substituting Negro slaves for white tenants and laborers. Check it out. It was so many of us that it, if you wanted to do a comparison with England, all you had to do is do those couple of things and omit the Negroes with whites. How in the hell did they get so many of us here? People, we need to start, start asking the right questions. We're not asking the right questions. The question that we're asking them is, how long were we enslaved? And who enslaved us? And, and how many of us got on the boats to Africa? From Africa. Yeah, some of us did. I, I know I know it. I, I can see some of the uh, some of the other books I'm reading. But god damn it, all of us didn't come here on no damn ship. Not their ships anyway. We're too intelligent to not cross over just half the distance. Well, less than half the, di the di distance from Africa to uh, Barbados and those areas there. I mean, it's just just a quick uh, uh, jump across the Bermuda Triangle. Take a look at the map and then see how great you think they were compared to how not so great you think we are not. Hmm. Something to think about, right? Let's see what we're working with here. All right. Now, what we're talking about here is going from up here in Spain, Portugal area to coming all the way across the North Atlantic Ocean into the West Indies, right? Now, we got, we're going to come all the way in these areas here. All right. So, Cristobal Colon came across here. Bam. Right? But when Cristobal Colon came across here, he enslaved some people. But where they keep screwing us up at is he came across and he enslaved people and started this uh, the, 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 the so-called transatlantic slave trade, and he took some people back. But why in the hell they keep saying that they were North? They were they were Africans. Back to kiss Cristobal Colon from here, enslaved some black people, and then came back. Oh, or did they say, oh, no, he enslaved the, Navy, the, 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 the natives there, or the indigenous there. Well, if you go there today, what the hell you see down there looking like they're indigenous? The only thing that, look, that you see that's, uh, that's lighter than indigenous is the ones that they raped, and they left their people behind, right? I mean, man, you know, come on now, call it what it is. Now, what they have us to believe that the Europeans left from here, and let's, let's go and bring it on down here too. Let's go and get these, these 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 jokers in there. From the United Kingdom, okay, from France, Spain, and Portugal, and they said, "Well, we want to go over here, and we're gonna take some slaves with us. So why don't we just do this here? We'll leave them here. Go down here to Africa. Nah, the North Africans, they they might be a little not right." Let's get the ones that are right. Let's let's sail on our sailboat with no motors and go down here a little further and we'll start picking them around in this area. 
we'll just pick them all from around this area right here. Not saying that it didn't happen. However, not the way they said it happened, which is crazy as shit what they tell us and the shit we believe. Anyway, so they, 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 they have us to believe they came down and they picked up these folks, loaded them up, and then they, after their long little trip, now they're going to make another trip way across over here. And then they're going to drop them off all up in these areas here, right? So now they got the, the, all of these black folks over here. Now, when you pay attention to what was read out of these books and what I'm going to read out of these books and notice how many people are over there compared to the Europeans, something to think about. It's something to really, really think about. Now, so right, now that they done got, uh, they done came over here and they done conquered this area. They totally conquered it, right? So now what they want to do is say, well, we need some more, some more black folks for slaves. But now one of my books says they came down here in the West Indies and got their slaves and sent them all up to, uh, to South Carolina, which don't make, that makes a lot of sense if you're going to be transporting between here and there. That's kind of quick on a, on a, but you're talking about these some um, these suckers. Um, somebody told me that I need to clean it up on YouTube because uh, I cuss too much, and I decided I was going to clean it up. But this not this much. Like Hail to the now. Check this shit out. Now they want to talk about they're going to go past all of these folks down here where they already said some black folks were down there. They're going to go past these folks down here. They're going to pass these folks down here, and they're going to jump way the hell across over here to go pick up the folks that look like the same damn folks that was already in these areas. Okay, that would, but anyway, does it make any sense to you? We're going to come all the way across over here. All of the hurricanes, we know how bad the hurricanes are here, but they're going to come all the way across here and bring millions of people from here over here. I say they already found some folks here, especially down in this area here, and they found the same damn folks in this areas here because of hell. It, it, shit, you, you go down to Key West, Florida, like right down in there with you. Now look at this here. Key West, Florida. 90 miles across from here. You mean to tell you that folks didn't know how to go between these two places until the Europeans came? I keep telling y'all in my other videos, we're giving people too much credit. No, am I racist? Hell no, I'm not a racist. Just keeping it real. Now let's look over here in, in the Bahamas area. Look at here. Look at all of these places. They can jump. They can island hop. Island hop. Look at it. Island hop. All of these here places are places. All of these places, that would make more sense, don't you think? If you're gonna go and enslave some people, you're gonna get them close to where you were trying to take them. And not skip all of these little islands over here full of folks that look like you and I. At that time they did, these were Spaniards. Just like these uh, folks who came over here from Europe and they wanted to get away from the from the folks who sent them here. Shit, they had a war and they, they, they had their own country. They, they broke away. Now look at this, look at all of this here. Now you mean to tell me they got on these boats and they, Every single time, all them thousands and hundreds and thousands of people, they went here to here, over to all the way across over to here to get the Africans and brought them over here. Now, let, let, let's go ahead and look at something else. Now, if the folks from up here can take a boat and sail from here all the way to here, Right? That's the first place they land. Well, I'm, 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 I digress. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's bring it back. That was a mistake here. Let's let's change that up. Say, so, first time they sail from here, from Spain, Hispaniola, somewhere in that area, across over here. Kind of a quick shot if you look at it like that. Not a bad shot. But you mean to tell me they could do it? But these folks right here couldn't do it. You mean that they couldn't do it? You mean they couldn't go from here to here, and then up and up in here and all up in these areas? It makes no damn sense. It makes no sense. So if they couldn't do that, if they didn't, if they were too stupid to do that, then high in the hell did they find the Omex over in these areas, huh? How did they do that? Hmm. Let's take a look at something else here. Let's take a look over here at old Google Earth. Let's see here. All right, this is the end of part one. Make sure you watch part two. Thanks for watching.